When most people think of the San Francisco Bay Area, they think of all the world-famous sites there are to see here, right? The Golden Gate Bridge, Pier 39, Alcatraz. But what's it really like to live here every day? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. I'm Erin Anderson and I help people buy and sell homes right here in the Bay Area. First, let's back up a little. In case you haven't seen any of my other videos, let's talk about what is the Bay Area. The Bay Area consists of nine counties. Each of those counties will have part of its, one of its borders on the Bay, the actual body of water. Those counties are Alameda, Contra Costa, Marin, San Mateo, Solano, Sonoma, Napa, San Francisco, and Santa Clara counties. Now I lived in the Bay Area for over 30 years, so I think I have a pretty good idea of what it's like to live here, but this is my experience and my opinion, so someone else who has different experiences may have different opinions and insights as to what it's like to live here. Now, when most people think of the Bay Area, of course they think of the big cities here, San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose, which are obviously the hubs of everything here. What is it really like to live here in the Bay Area? Well, I guess that depends. It depends on the kind of lifestyle you're looking for. To be honest, whatever kind of lifestyle you live, you can probably find a community here that supports that or that you feel comfortable in. To live in the Bay Area doesn't mean city living necessarily. Of course, if you do want to live in the big city, we have plenty of those here to choose from. But as you go away from those cities, you get more suburban, just normal everyday life, which probably isn't much different in the life you're living wherever you are. And then as you go further from that, we have more open space, larger pieces of land, maybe a more rural type living. We have ranches and people that raise cattle here in the Bay Area. The more urban areas are gonna have more, you know, bigger businesses, maybe more museums, bigger art scene, uh, more, more of a nightlife. So if that's what you're looking for, maybe those areas are better for you. If you're looking for more family oriented activities, maybe the suburbs are better for you. Youth sports are pretty big here in the Bay Area. If that's not your thing, then there's plenty of places to hike or ride bikes. You could hike to the top of a mountain. We've got Mount Diablo and Mount Hamel Pius, as well as Angel Island outside of Tiburon in the San Francisco Bay. Another great place to get away locally is Napa Valley. I mean, world famous, right? And it's right here in your backyard. Who else besides people in the Bay Area can say they can go to Napa for an afternoon? Really, if you're bored in the Bay Area, you're probably not looking that hard. If you're someone that likes to eat out, you're gonna find plenty of options for that. Anywhere from farm to table to the big chain restaurants. We've got pretty much almost, we've got almost everything here. Then again, if you're someone who likes to stay home and cook, almost every city has a farmer's market multiple times a week for you to go buy all your fresh produce and more. Our climate is also pretty mild. So while we don't have really four drastic seasons. We do have, summers can be warmer, winters can be colder and rainier, but within the Bay Area, we even have microclimates. So if you're cold in one place, you can probably go a little further inland and find it to be a little bit warmer. The opposite is true in the summer. If you're too hot in say Oakley, get in the car, go to San Francisco. It's probably gonna be a lot cooler there. The Bay Area has traffic. And depending on how far your home is from your job, you may be sitting in it. I personally, obviously I'm a real estate agent. I work mostly locally, so I don't have to deal with that. So maybe if you can work from home or if you're able to find a home closer to your job, that won't be an issue for you. Now, another great thing about the Bay Area is when you do wanna escape the hustle and bustle of your everyday life and maybe all of that traffic, we are centrally located to so many other great things within the state. Lake Tahoe is only about three hours away, and then Pismo Beach is only about four hours away in the other direction. The Bay Area also has three major airports, San Francisco, Oakland, and San Jose, if you're looking to go a little bit further. With all this can come a price though, right? It is a little more expensive to live here, especially in, with housing. And depending on where you choose to live within the Bay Area is gonna determine how expensive it is for you. Within or closer to those major cities, it's gonna be more expensive. But as you go out further to the suburban area, more suburban areas, it gets more affordable. You're gonna be able to find anything from the big city to the small town with the hometown parades on 4th of July with kids on their bicycles. That's honestly, that's my favorite part about living where I live. I live in one of the smaller towns, one of the suburbs. We have almost 40,000 people. 
but it feels like a small town. We have parades down Main Street, our downtown is bustling, and there are so many other places in the Bay Area just like this. So depending on what you're looking for in a home and how far you're willing to go potentially from your job to live there, you'll probably find what you're looking for. Like I said before, I've lived in the Bay Area for over 30 years. Obviously, I think it's a pretty great place to live. I help people buy and sell homes to live here. If you think this might be somewhere you'd wanna live and you have questions, maybe find out what areas, maybe a better fit for your lifestyle, all my information is below and I'm happy to answer any questions. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any other videos where we talk about what it's like to live here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Have a great day.